What's up guys, my name is Andrew Suarez and today we're going to be looking at the best photo editor for Linux. So also as looking on my search for the best video editor, which was my previous video, I've been looking for photo, edit photo editors for Linux as well because I use a lot of Photoshop. So as moving a lot of my work towards Linux, I want to push away from Photoshop. Now I've been trying to get Photoshop to work under Wine, but I haven't been able to do it as well. I, I could not get Photoshop to work under Wine at all. So that's kind of out of the, I'm not going to think about that. I was looking for really good photo editing software and I found two options for this one. Because the first time I've, I tried this video, I did not know that one of these softwares was only a trial. And since it was a trial, there's some limited features. So that's why we're back here again and I'm going to go through it a little bit more in detail. So this is called Pixelivo or Pixelivo, however you want to say it. And for this one, this is one of the best. I've not been able to find a photo editor that looks so good with a great UI and that feels really, really good. Now, the only downfall of this is about it's about $34. You can buy it right now for $34. Now, the free version, this is the trial version because I haven't bought it yet. I probably will because I want to move everything towards Linux. So I probably will buy this because of all the features it has that I don't really do a lot of, um, I don't really do heavy. If you want to do heavy photo editing, and this is for anybody. If you want to do actual, true, like really hardcore photo editing, Photoshop is going to be your best bet for, and that's going to have to be on Windows. For these programs that I'm showing today, they're going to be good for. Oh, I I gotta make up a thumbnail. I gotta edit a little. I gotta do a little editing. I gotta touch up a photo just a little bit, not full out editing, changing something, moving something into a screen, different things like that. Like for me, I do make a lot of thumbnails like this. And this is a thumbnail that from one of my videos, and I made this on Photoshop. And this is just the PNG opening it into Pixel Pixel Uva. So with this with this file, I cannot save it because for the trial version. You're limited to 800 by 600 resolution, which really sucks. So if you want to upgrade to the the the, the um, pro version, you can go ahead and do so after this video. So the main reason why I really do like Pixel Uvo is because of its features. You get really really good features for a trial or just for a photo editor on Linux in general. You have move, um, cropping, straightening. So like almost like an Instagram feature, we have to straighten the photo out. Uh, paintbrush. Um, the ones I'm really surprised about are the clone tool. So the clone tool is like is like uh, Photoshop's tool, which is really really good. I have not seen this in a free a free program, and that's really really good. And you can do a lot with it. You can do a lot. Like that's as good. That's almost as good as Photoshop's tool. I'd have to give them credit for that. And for the price tag, even though it's not free. It is thirty four dollars is very very reasonable for something like this, which you can almost get the features of Photoshop. You're getting really good features. So you got the spot heal tool, similar to Photoshop's, where you can do a certain spot and heal it if you make a mistake, or you want to just fix an actual uh, problem. The image lasso tool, you can make a lasso selection and then be able to move it. So again, really good features for a free program. And I have used GIMP, and I've used a bunch of others, and I don't like GIMP. For my purposes, I don't like how GIMP opens up and looks. I don't know. I don't look. I don't like how it feels. For me, when I get into GIMP, I'm confused and I'm like lost. I have to like sit there and search for what I need to do, and that's nauseating to me. And when I want to edit a photo, like making a thumbnail real quick, I just want to be able to go boom, boom, throw in everything and be done. So like this image, like I threw in what's a what's a Hackintosh, the Hackintosh kind of image logo, my logo, find a PNG of a Mac screen, and and uploaded it. So. I want to be able to make a lot of different, I want to be able to do it really easy and quick. And there's a lot of good features in this program. For the free version, even for the free version, it's really good. But I'd almost recommend buying the pro version because the resolution limit is really kind of suckish. How it, they're limiting you to only 800 by 600 photo resolution. That's going to be limiting to me because I, I post 1920 by 1080 thumbnails. So I'm not going to be able to use this for a thumbnail until I buy the actual real version of it. So that's the only downfall for what I have. Um, other features in the program, a, a fill, a gradient, which is kind of uh, where you can pull the like shadow into the image, which is kind of cool. Um, again, really good features for a free program, or for just a pro for a photo. Fo okay, I keep saying free, which is a mistake. These are really good features for a, a photo editor on Linux. 
because I have not been able to say that in a long time because a lot of programs on Linux have this issue. Finding a, a good video editor was a struggle until I found Canon Live, and that was my previous video, like I said before. And now finding a, a photo editor like this is really good, and I can actually do a lot of different photo editing, make a thumbnail. That helps my production in Linux a lot. And the second program we have for today is called Pinta. Pinta. I said that right. <laughs> um, Pinta is going to be like Paint.net. They even says it in the Arch repository that this is built to be like Paint.net. It is very similar to Paint.net. You make a stroke, it's going to come down here. Um, this is really good as well. This is fully free. There's no buying, buying this. You don't have to buy this. And even this, I'd almost rec I'd recommend this more. If you don't want to spend money, then use this. But if you if you're willing to support the people behind um, Pixel Pixeluva, go ahead and do it because I'm going to do it as well because I think that that's a really really good that you could edit a photo like that in a free software and even this this is fine for making thumbnails or doing whatever you have to do a touch up or something this is very similar to Paint Paint.net this is good as well I even use Paint.net sometimes on my Windows sometimes when I don't want to deal with Photoshop so even this this has some basic features. Not as detailed as like a Photoshop will have, but some good features as well. But both of these have really, really good features for being on Linux. And that's a hard thing to say because a lot of features, a lot of programs are not moved to Linux because the people who develop them, like Photoshop, I don't think Photoshop will come to Linux unless the Linux community gets very, very loud about it. And I wish it did because I think there's a very, very big gap and big desire for these programs on Linux. There are a lot, there's a lot of programs that are not met video editing is one photo editing is one that these softwares are not here and they're not good enough for pro if a pro wants to come video edit on Linux they're gonna have a very big problem and they're gonna go to a Mac or a Windows PC to use Sony Vegas Pro Adobe Premiere they're not gonna have to they don't want to think about having to figure out what to use or find a new program they want to know what they want to use what they're used to and what they're comfortable with so either these companies like Sony Vegas or Photoshop, they bring their product to Linux or someone builds something very similar to it. And I think there's a really big need for that. And if you're a developer and you want to make one, please do. Because there's really a big gap into the development of these programs. Pixelevo is really good. Pinto is real good. But they're nothing like Photoshop. And they're nothing like... And Kenden Live for video editing is really good. But it's not like Sony Vegas. It's... It's similar, but it's not the same, and it's not as polished and as good as those softwares because those softwares have millions of dollars behind them to develop them and keep them up. And while Linux and the Linux community only has an indie development team making these programs, so big developers have to come over and make software. And I think when that happens, people will come over, people who use Photo Editor, because there is, there is a very big difference. I feel like... For me, I don't like Windows in the sense that every six months I reinstall Windows because of the, the slowness and the lag and how nasty it gets over a, over a long period of time. So I come to Linux after when that period comes because I'm like, I can't think of Windows anymore. It's too slow. So I come here and I can do everything here. I can do most of everything here. So the more I can do here, the more I can slowly get rid of Windows. And I, I one day want to make a video that I, I've left Windows. Like I, I'm done with Windows forever and have a reason why. I really want to make that video one day. It's not going to be anytime soon, but hopefully it will be in the future. So that's going to be it for this video. What do you think about Pixelevo or Pinto? What do you think about these two programs? Leave them down below. And I highly recommend you, don't go by my word. Actually, if you have Linux installed on your machine, go try them out for yourself and pick which one you want to use. You want to use Pinto or you want to use Pixelevo. You make that decision for yourself. And thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.